So, hello guys, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. I know it's been quite some time since I last recorded this game, but here we are, we are officially back. Um, we need to go to the flying shell class right in this instance, so that is what we are gonna be doing. Um, man. It's been a while since I last played this game, like holy shit, Renos. Uh, who are we getting? Uh, I, I've been busy. Uh, I've been getting a bunch of games uh, recorded, done and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it's still something that I have a lot of, a lot of work to do, so especially this game that I need to get done. <laughs> ASAP, so... Uh, but that's just that. We are going to be working a lot more on uh, new content. I've been also experimenting uploading uh, new content to the TikToks. And man, they, they've been doing relatively well, I must say, if, if I must say so myself. And, and, and whatnot, so we, man, in some regard, um, yeah, being able to do this is really, really good, um, it allows me to beat games and whatnot, uh, that I normally wouldn't, but how the fuck do I get there? I completely forgot. So we need to get here. Uh -uh. I'm just stupid, I suppose. So how have you been, uh, everyone? Uh, I apologize for the taking this long to finish up a series uh, of, of a game that I actually do enjoy but sometimes there are some gaps like my headset breaking and stuff like that so I wasn't able to entirely record everything so yeah but we are back now so that's a that's a good start in my in my pretty hectic day if I'm not going to uh, bullshit you guys Beginning the quest. And we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyo Hashitengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Lul. Yeah, give me a moment. Gabe. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned this in one piece. This will take some getting used to. 
Ah, also in the uh, other world. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Oh, shut up. You sounds fucking annoying. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. The fact that you can't like... The master isn't having tea by the window today. <coughs> the fact that you can't even uh, skip this part is nice fucking... Stupid. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Nah, nobody asked for him for it. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Yeah. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around of what? This is quite the tall Everett. you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still... Because you're still not showing yourself or, frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Thank you, ma'am. I am, as you would say, a natural. Business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. 
It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yeah, motherfucker, you do that, you damn asshole. Thank you for making me lose 50 points. Dickhead. Fucking vagina. Ass wipe. He can kiss my shiny. In a world of constant evolution, where the line between man and machine begins to blur.